One of the advantages of Unify Network system is its modularity. However, for a new starter in the Unify ecosystem, this can be a source of confusion. Both Unify Dream Machine Base and Unify Dream Machine Pro are the latest publicly released Unify Network controller units, as well as a router. So which one is the better choice for home networking? Let's take a look. Unlike conventional home network system, the full Unify network system consists of controller, which is essentially a type of application. This is the brain of Unify network system and it provides nice looking interface about your network traffic, lets you configure network setting, including network security related setting like intrusion detection and prevention systems and deep packet inspection. In the past, Unlike consumer standard, Unify system had a gateway unit separate from its controller unit. However, the current and the latest recommended practice for home network Unify system user is to use one of the two router unit, which has a built-in network controller. I view both units as a type of all-in-one device. This unit is analogous to typical consumer router whether it's ASUS, TP-Link, Netgear, or others. Unify Dream Machine Base has a built-in wireless access point functionality, so this unit can replace your existing router unit. From a consumer perspective, this sounds like nothing special other than replacing your existing router with other brand router. In contrast, Unify Dream Machine Pro lacks access point functionality. This means by the UDM Pro alone, you will not be able to connect to Wi-Fi clients. So why do I still consider this as an all-in-one unit? Well, this is because from the controller standpoint of view, UDM Pro is all-in-one. Although you may be currently only interested in Unify system as a network system, Unify has various other product platforms, including surveillance security camera type pad system. This is called Unify Protect. One of the main benefit of Unify Protect line is they run locally on your network. So all video recordings are stored on my own hard drive without paying subscription. Furthermore, they are locally processed. So accessing these camera are faster and works even when I lose internet connection. However, Unify Protect controller is separate from Unify Network controller. You can imagine Netgear RO security camera has its own configuration interface and hub unit that is separate from Netgear router. In case of UDM Pro, the unit supports all four Unify product line controllers, which include Network, Protect, Access, which is security door system, and TOC. Whereas Unify Base only has network controller. The physical form factor may be a simple decision or limitation factor. Dream Machine Base has a non-obtrusive look. I think this unit can be placed anywhere in home without worrying about spouse acceptance factor. I certainly was not able to say the same with my previous router unit from Dasus. On the other hand, Dream Machine Pro has a rack mount form factor. Those who have dedicated network section in your home with a rack, the rack mountable form factor is considered as a pro. However, for everyone else, this can be a limiting factor. Its size and form factor will not sit on kitchen counter, desk, nor living room corner. Additionally, there is also a potential noise factor. UDM Pro is not necessarily an extra loud device for its form. However, it has built-in fan and expected to kick in at times. Since this is a network router, most of you will have this powered on 24-7. So any noise can be a source of annoyance if it is placed in the sound-sensitive area like a bedroom. 
The take home message here is if you do not have a space for rack mountable device, UDM Pro is not going to be your option. Technically, a router or gateway unit role is to connect local area network to the internet. Everything else may be considered extra option. However, if you are like myself and coming from consumer router background, built-in access point and built-in switch functionality feels a de facto standard. One port is what you connect the modem unit like cable modem to the router. So any internet traffic will pass through the port. Both have a single one gigabit RJ45 regular ethernet wide area network connection port. However, UDM Pro has additional option of 10 gigabit per second SFE plus one port. What this means is if you have over one gigabit internet service, you can utilize this port and get beyond the gigabit service. This may be a critical decision factor for some and the other totally irrelevant. The question here is simple. Do you have or expect over one gigabit internet service within the life of this unit? In fact, you can technically benefit from 10 gigabit one port even with one full gigabit service. For example, while I still had one gigabit download service through Xfinity, I had changed my modem to NBASE-T capable surfboard S33 modem. This new modem allowed me to connect the modem and UDM Pro via its SFP plus port to reach up to 2.5 gigabits per second potential speed. Since the internet service provider serves more throughput than what they are promising, using that beyond gigabit link, I was able to get 1.2 gigabit per second download throughput on my gigabit service. This was a jump from original 940 megabits per second speed cap on the same service. As discussed already, UDM base has a built-in access point. Specifically, the current version has Wi-Fi 5 Wave 2 access point. However, UDM Pro lacks access point functionality. Since I assume most of us need Wi-Fi, this means you will need to buy additional access point unit. Regarding to the wired connectivity, both UDM Base and the UDM Pro have gigabit Ethernet port switch built in, with Pro having twice more ports than the Base version. However, UDM Pro switch has limitation of 1 gigabit per second backplane throughput. What this means is that it is not suited for a performance conscious user as the true switch ports. The real connectivity difference between UDM Base and Pro again comes from SFP plus port on the UDM Pro. UDM base does not have any 10 gigabit per second connectivity. In addition to 10 gigabit per second connection on the one side, UDM Pro has local area network side 10 gigabit per second connection as well. UDM base and UDM Pro share the same CPU which is an ARM quad-core A57 1.7 GHz processor. This is a very powerful chip for a router. For instance, it is used in some models of QNAP network-attached storage device such as TS832X and TS432U. These NAS units are technically capable of some Plex Media server streaming, which is an indication of a decent power of the CPU. Although at the first glance, UDM Pro has twice memory size than the UDM base, we have to take into the consideration UDM Pro may have potential of running other controller apps like Unify Protect, Access, and Talk. So more memory may not necessarily translate direct performance benefit when looking just at the Unify network system. UDM Pro has a built-in network video recorder slot for one HDD or SSD drive with the drive sold separately. Given it is a single drive slot, there is no data redundancy option. If you are looking for data redundancy, you will need to purchase dedicated NVR system like Unified Network Video Recorder or Network Video Recorder Pro. 
if you are determined to go with these dedicated NBL units, they come with built-in Unify Protect controller and better than UDM Pro built-in NBL functionality. So having UDM base will not be seen as disadvantage in such situation. Some of the latest generation Unify products provide a proprietary redundant power system protection for events of sudden power loss. UDM Pro is one of the devices capable of connecting to the redundant power supply module. For this purpose, while UDM Base does not have this compatibility, UDM Pro comes with two one ports while UDM Base has only one. Having two pathways to internet connection can potentially give two advantage. One, failover. Second, load balance. Failover functionality reduces the chance of internet outage by having second connection from router to internet. So in case one fails, the other could still be working. Weighted load balance functionality splits the load of traffic and hence improving overall performance. According to the official website, UDM Pro currently only supports failover, not weighted load balancing. If you absolutely need failover or backup internet connection, you can technically set it up even with Unify Dream Machine Base by using Unify LTE. One of the main reasons why someone may be interested in Unify network system, particularly a gateway or router, is looking for network traffic security. Although there are reportedly better options for those who are willing to set up own gateway system, I personally think Unify Network Intrusion Detection and Protection System, as well as Deep Packet Inspection System, works adequately for most home users. Both UDM Base and UDM Pro, as well as older gateway devices, come in this protection functionality without monthly subscription. However, the difference is performance trade-off when you have these functionality turned on. UDM Base provide near 4 gigabit speed rated 850 megabits per second with IDS, IPS, and DPI turned on. This is close, but not quite a full gigabit speed. In contrast, UDM Pro is rated all the way up to 3.5 gigabits per second with all protection features turned on. At the first glance, Pro appears $80 more expensive than the base version. However, the real price difference is more significant because UDM Pro lacks AP functionality and the majority of people need Wi-Fi function. Although there is a way to make existing non-unified router as access point in most cases, this is not a recommended way of setting unified system because you would then have severely limited unified experience and the functionality and may not really have reason to pay premium price for a unified system compared to other whole consumer gears. So you need to add a cost of purchasing at least one access point to the $80 difference. At this time of recording, there are Wi-Fi 6 compatible access points. U6 Lite can be purchased for $99. So if you were to go with this access point, you're looking total of approximately $180 more for UDM Pro plus U6 Lite when compared to UDM base built-in Wi-Fi access point. Just like everything else in the world, the answer to which one is better question comes down to the context dependency. I would personally ask following questions. Is rack mountable an option? If answer is no, you need UDM base. Do you need over 1 gigabit per second performance? If answer is yes, you need UDM Pro. Do you need full 1 gigabit per second performance while network security system turned on? If answer is yes, you need UDM Pro. Do you need a built-in access point? If answer is yes, you need UDM Base. Are you looking for saving money UDM base is cheaper. If you are looking for simple existing consumer router replacement, Unified Dream Machine base is the one. 
If you are looking for the most scalable and powerful experience, including 10 gigabits per second ports, 3.5 gigabits per second throughput, even with all the security system turned on, UDM Pro is the one. Thanks for watching.